His aim is true. My aim is true. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Elvis Costello songs. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. We're including Costello's songs as a solo artist and with the attractions. Number 10, Less Than Zero. One of many early Elvis Costello songs to feature a distinctively anti-fascist slant. This song from his brilliant first album also drew attention for its supposed references to the JFK assassination. Turn up the TV, the wireless will suspect even your mother won't detect it, so your father won't know. As the main character was a gun-toting Mr. Oswald. But Costello insisted the association was accidental. Ever the showman, however, he changed the lyrics to reference the assassination when he toured the U.S. This one is now referred to as the Dallas version. This thing that I got no respect. Everything means less than zero hit. Regardless of the iteration, Less Than Zero is a great punk rock and new wave tune signed Elvis Costello. Hit. Hit. Number 9. The Angels Wanna Wear My Red Shoes. I used to be disgusted. I try to be this song establishes another Costello trademark, bitterness hidden beneath catchy pop melodies. When the first person narrator tells his date he's so happy he could die, she says, drop dead, and leaves with another guy. I said, I'm so happy I could die. She said, drop dead, then left with another guy. Costello was still extremely young at the time, and tracks like this one explore the frustrations inherent in early relationships, and prove once and for all that all girls are just mean. Well, at least most of the ones in Elvis Costello songs. Number 8, I Don't Wanna Go To Chelsea. After the success of his first album, Elvis undoubtedly had his taste of high society, but that didn't make him any less suspicious of it. In this song from this year's model, Costello rails against the world of high fashion and superficial people. Possibly referring to affluent neighborhoods in London and New York, or simply a girl named Chelsea, with his multi-layered lyricism, he likely could have meant all of the above. I don't want to go to Chelsea. Number seven, watching the detectives. This girl's not one with the defects of a French ring rap so correct. With its reggae melody and offbeat subject matter, this is one of Costello's most distinctive songs. Legend has it, he wrote the song after listening to The Clash's debut all night long. She's smiling her nails while they're dragging the lid. Watching the detectives became Costello's first hit in his native UK. Watching the detectives. Oh, yeah, shit, 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 shit. And tells the story of a girl neglecting her relationship to stay at home and watch detective shows. 
never shy to inject a little bit of darkness in his work. Touches like... Our vintage Costello. Number six. What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? As I walk through this wicked world, searching for light in the darkness of insanity. Unabashedly optimistic and lacking any irony we're aware of, this hit single is actually credited to Costello's producer, Nick Lowe. What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? to be the perfect combination, as Costello's pop prowess breathed life into Lowe's message of hope. Where is that harmony, sweet harmony, cause each time I feel and has been inspiring audiences of star-studded lineups and karaoke bars for decades. What's so funny about this Five, Oliver's Army. Don't start the talking. I could talk all night. In this defiant anthem criticizing his home nation, England's past, present, and foreign policy, Costello abandons the ambiguity of his previous politically charged songs. Wow. Have you got yourself an occupation? He takes the position of a young man coerced into the Imperial Army, singing The New Wave number is one of his more eerily upbeat tunes, especially considering its serious subject matter. One of the best examples of Costello infusing a radio hit and top 10 UK single with subversive lyrics. Number 4, Radio Radio. I was tuning in the shadow of the light, and I dialed in and put my radio advice. No song explored Costello's relationship with corporate media more explicitly or publicly than this early single. Radio is a sense of radio is a treatise against radio censorship. He was asked not to play it when he appeared on SNL in 1977. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, there's no reason to do this song here. Radio, radio. One, two, three. Appearing to acquiesce, he and his band began with the first verse of Less Than Zero, before launching into a fever pitch version of the song. I was tuning in the shine of the light, not dialed to anything my radio advised. The act earned the band a temporary banishment from the show and a place in punk rock history. Number three, Man Out of Time. So this is where he came to hide When he ran from you While it's hard to pick just one song from Costello's seminal 80s album, Imperial Bedroom, this is our pick. Blending history, politics, love, and possibly time travel into one tune as only he can. Man Out of Time leaves us with one of his most bitter stanzas ever. Number two, Pump It Up. Number one, 
never one to pass up a good double entendre. This one is Costello and the attractions at their organ squealing and sexually charged best. Either referring to simply turning up the volume or will let you use your imagination, the song points to sexuality and music as similar modes for release of, let's say, tension. It's Costello's ability to sum up these frustrations that has cemented him as a punk rock icon. unveil our top pick. Here are a few honorable mentions. By the women and children, soon will be ship The tips of headdress of his spouse While hers recalls a honey house Of his most unabashedly earnest songs, and one whose lyrics gave his breakthrough debut its name. While the more cynical have alleged the words refer to taking aim at and shooting the girl in question. Costello has maintained they only refer to a chance meeting between old flames. With bittersweet lyrics any scorned lover can relate to, this pub rocker showed indelible wisdom from the young songwriter and also spurned a generation of girls named Allison. Agree with our list? What's your favorite Elvis Costello tune? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.